Islam, Islam. I'm just going to start and say a little affirmation. I pray that my throat chakra and my intentions are communicated well. Um, and um, really reaching out again. Um, I just want to thank you for your email. I received it. Um, I did donate. I know you work with a lot of people, but you did um, help me last year. And I don donated and received the forms and things like that. Um, so, and I was telling you about this side love project I was trying to start up. Um, but that's not the main reason why I'm getting back to you. Because um, we're talking about this legal status, Indian status. And um, and I was referring to the Sundry Moores Act and claiming nationality. And I'm figuring out why it doesn't work, why it's not working. Um, in doing the ancestry, I just stumbled across um, this particular incident in South Carolina. Why, you know, the Muslims um, and the origin of the Sundry Moores Act in 1790. Um, that special legal status that everybody desires was given to 10 families. And I just so happened to be um, one of the families. And now I understand why my family was able to marry, why they were able to travel in the middle of slavery. And um, so I guess even um, one of my most recent ancestors was the... Uh, pastor at Mother Bethel in Charleston and he met with Martin Luther King for civil rights and um it's it's like these stories are so crazy and tied together with my family and um I would love to send links I wanted to try to like um do a zoom call or with you and copper aborigines to try to brainstorm on how we can leverage this particular information because um, in one particular article, it definitely said that it didn't help bridge the racial divide um, and that they did do DNA research and showed that they were, um, some were Native American, white, and also like M Moroccan, Portuguese, Scottish. Um, so, it was, and they had brown skin, olive color skin. So, um, I just want to send you all of this information to look at. And, um, and if it is feasible, if it's not, and I should just keep that information, even though it's very significant, um, and figuring out how to bridge that and utilize it for others. I'll, I'll demonstrate and, and be up front, but, um, to even go and, and get some claims rep reclamation act, uh, the burial, um, reformations, all of that stuff is tied to that Indian more mix. And, um, that's the one part we need to link all the way through so we can get everybody blanketed is to be a tribe, but also to be that more too. So, um, definitely, uh, please get back at me. I'm going to also include all of the um, links I found. And just to give you a high level of uh, my family tree. And it's it spans all the way from Maryland down to um, Florida. This family group. But particularly land was granted in South Carolina. Which um, that was my family got one of the uh, deeded lands from General Sumter. So that 40 acres in the mule that people talk about, all of this stuff is is kind of scary and mind boggling. So um, I appreciate any comments and your time. Thank you.